we need medical doctors in rooms where they are making decisions that have to do with the lives of people. Like it really pisses me off when they are making certain healthcare decisions and we don't even have medical doctors in those rooms. It's people that are not even medical doctors that are making decisions for us. Hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bookie if you're new here thank you for stopping by please make sure you hit the like button turn on post notifications and also subscribe to my channel and if you're an old subscriber good to have you back on the channel today i will be sharing or i'll be talking about non-clinical pathways for medical doctors who are looking to explore other areas if you all don't know i'm sure some of you know this is going to be for people that are just joining us, people that are new here. I am a medical doctor by profession and also a public health professional. So in my undergrad, I studied medicine in Ukraine for six years. I think I have talked about my journey. I'm going to put a video somewhere here. And when I finished or when I graduated in 2016, I went back to Nigeria to, you know, practice for a bit, do my NYC before finally now deciding that I was coming to America to pursue my master's degree in public health. So basically, when I went back to Nigeria, like while I was practicing, I just knew that clinical medicine wasn't for me like I like it right I enjoyed it for a bit but I just felt like I had so much more to do and I have so much more to offer I don't just want to sit at the hospital seeing patients from morning till night I want to be in places whereby like my impact will be felt so more where they are making decisions right and I'm able to contribute on behalf of the public not just like doctor patient like does that make sense so i would like to say that my parents never forced me to study medicine it was something i really wanted to do i love it i love caring for people i love taking care of people and just seeing that people get well you know improving their quality of life and just doing what i can is such a big deal to me and i really enjoy doing it however like i said i just felt like I had so much more to do, like being places or in rooms where decisions are being made, not just sitting down like by my patient's bedside. The very first one, which is something I also really like, and I am also like exploring and doing on the side, is project management. Like you could be a healthcare project manager. So basically project management means that you are planning, you know, organizing, handling healthcare related projects, ensuring everything goes well. You're handling like, you know, stakeholders, like vendor management from the start of the project till the end of the project. So that is an area you can explore as a medical student or a medical doctor who doesn't want to practice clinical medicine. The next is going to be doing your PhD, right? And that way you're going the academia route. Like that is not for me right now. And then you could be a professor. You could actually be a professor of public health or a professor of whatever it is, maybe like genetics, whatever it is you're interested in that is related to the medical field. That is another one you can explore, but that is not for me. I don't think I want to do anything school related right now, but we never can tell, right? Next, I'll be talking about public health. Of course, honestly, public health is really good. I like it. And you're able to, with your medical background or your medical knowledge, like it works perfectly fine. And it's kind of like the science that has to do with like, you know, improving the health and the quality of lives of people and their communities. And I feel like if the general public is okay, like if everyone does what they're supposed to do, they are well educated, they know what to do, what to look out for, we're going to have less people come into the hospital, right? Because public health, you're basically preventing, you know, compared to medicine whereby it has already happened. So public health is also still good. It is something you can, you can, you can pursue. And if after you finish your master's degree in public health, you can decide, okay, I want to be a professor of public health and you do your PhD. And with public health, you can work for organizations like the CDC. You can work for your health departments or department of health in your community or in a state like there are opportunities there are opportunities another area you can explore is clinical informatics also known as health informatics and it's just basically combining you know like 
healthcare with information technology just ensuring that you know things are done better like reducing medical errors there's electronic health records you know all of these things that that are basically using technology in healthcare to improve the quality of lives of people right you're using the computers you're like databases like you know everything so i think that is also something that is really 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 good you could also work in clinical operations, like maybe like a pharmaceutical company, just handling, you know, like the processes, handling the operation side of it and, you know, bringing in your clinical knowledge as well. And you can also manage projects like clinical trials, you know, um, clinical research as well. Like these things are so broad, like there are areas, a lot of areas you can work in. Even in public health, right, there are areas that are broad, like you can work in nutrition, you can work in epidemiology, you can explore, you know, um, emergency response. There are so many areas you can actually focus on. I have also seen medical doctors pursue an MBA, right? They're thinking of like the business side. And that is also something I might do eventually, right? It equips you with the knowledge and skills when it comes to like, let's say the administrative side or managing businesses, like for healthcare organizations, right? Or let's even say, for example, you want to start your own hospital. The degree, like, or everything you're going to learn from doing an MBA, <laughs> would really, 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 really help you in whatever organization you find yourself, right? So I've seen medical, everyone knows someone that probably is doing an MBA right now, and the person is a medical doctor. Another area medical doctors can explore is being a medical writer. You can work for some of these organizations, and what will you be doing? You'll be handling or writing, or people also call them scribes sometimes, right? Um, what the, yeah, people also call them scribes sometimes, right? And you're just writing, you know, articles, journals, and it involves a lot of research because you have to be up to date. And they actually cash out. I feel like it's also something that, that is not as not stressful compared to, you know, practicing medicine. So that is also an area you can explore. If you really love to write, you could be a medical writer. You can look into that. Also, you can explore still working in clinical medicine, but right now like telemedicine. So it's like you're consulting. You can also be like you're consulting. You're seeing patients, you know, um, via these apps online. You're not going into the hospital. You're just managing your patients. You work on their diagnosis. They know where to see what is wrong. You, you prescribe medications. And that is also something you can do as a medical doctor. As a matter of fact, I think I did a campaign for like two different brands and it was just basically promoting their telemedicine, like, you know, um, platforms like apps where patients can get to have one-on-one -on -one consultation with medical doctors. So that is also an area you can explore if you do not want to be by the bedside. This one is for you if you like numbers, if you like anything that has to do with data, you could be a data analyst, like a clinical data analyst, and you're dealing with numbers, like, you know, databases, like trying to solve problems. That is also another area you can explore. Another area you can explore is being a health advisor, or will I say consultant as well? So you're basically advising people are consulting with you how to handle certain projects what to do about this about the organizations and consultants it might like be stressful sometimes but consultant healthcare consultants also make a lot of money there is also something called pharmacovigilance and that basically has to do with drug safety right and that is an area where medical doctors can explore it is you can even work remotely it is not as stressful if you're if you're not someone that doesn't like stress pharmacovigilance is something you can explore and i know that they pay people in pharmacovigilance very well. I think long-term it might be something I will explore, fingers crossed, but yeah, that is also another area you can, you can explore. There is also a degree you can get or another area you can, you can explore, which is healthcare administration. So basically the admin side of healthcare, you know, um, taking notes, just handling everything administrative. Like you could also be like, a manager for like organizations basically so healthcare administration is also very very good and there is no organization that does not need administrators that is also an area you can explore this one this one i'm not trying to be biased but guys being a social media influencer you're a medical doctor you can decide to take social media seriously like medical social media influencers 
are cashing out. Say, for example, you can try out scrubs for organizations. They release a new product. You can try it out. Like, you know, you're, 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 you're doing campaigns for healthcare brands or even lifestyle brands. You're encouraging people on how to like, you know, be fit, how to promote healthy lifestyle, you know, social media. And you get to also share your knowledge as well, things you're passionate about, like, you know, and having fun while at it, like, why not? Why not? That is something you can also look into, right? Um, I mean, I know that there are a lot of medical doctors here that also talk on social media here in America that also talk on social media and they just advise people basically. And I think most of them also enjoy what they're doing. For example, there is a pro doctor always talking about why it is important for you to drink water. You know, don't eat late at night as little as basic as these things are. People need to hear these things over and over. So that is also an area you can explore. You can also try out new scrubs, new tools, like devices that, and share with your audience as well. So basically guys, we need medical doctors in rooms where they are making decisions that have to do with the lives of people. Like it really pisses me off when they're making certain healthcare decisions and we don't even have medical doctors in those rooms. It's people that are not even medical doctors that are making decisions for us. Or people that are not medical doctors are making decisions for women. People that are not women are making decisions for women. It really pisses me off in a medical doctor even if you're not practicing you already have an edge like the the medical degree cannot be taken for you trust me you have so much to offer like that degree itself like that degree itself is such a big deal so and the truth is not all of us will practice clinical medicine i mean i'm grateful i love Kudos to my colleagues practicing clinical medicine, like kudos to them. They are doing a whole lot despite like the challenges coming with it and all of that. But I just feel like some people, well, let me just use myself as an example. Someone like me, I, like I explained, I don't just want to be with like my patient one-on-one, -on -one. but the truth is in the nearest future, who knows, am I might have like my own clinic i might consider aesthetic medicine you know that is something i like as well oh and that is an area medical doctors can um can explore so basically you don't have to be will i say certified like maybe um, be a board board um certified dermatologist or whatever it is you can take courses in aesthetic medicine like you will do trainings and then you're able to offer like People want to beautify, like they want to change how they look. Anesthetic medicine is here to stay. So that is an area medical doctors can also explore. You get to do trainings, you know, travel. Even people that are not medical doctors are doing aesthetic medicine. So imagine you that have the medical degree. Aesthetic medicine is something you can explore. And I feel like, God help me, sometime in the nearest future, I would like to have like a clinic, like an aesthetic clinic where I get to offer like you know beauty services to people even if i am not doing those things right or like the procedures and everything i can employ people right to actually do these things for me like guys there's just so i could be a ceo <laughs> who knows i could decide to pursue an mba as well like the opportunities are endless the options are a lot so please do not put yourself in a box do not put yourself in a box. I know a couple of people that would say, oh, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Trust me, sit down, research. There's so many areas. There's so many things you can do with your degree as a medical doctor. And if clinical medicine is your passion, like if it's something you know you want to do, like I love caring for people and I appreciate doctors that are practicing and taking care of people. So please just stick to it. Like if that's what you really, really, really want to do, that's absolutely fine. Um, but this is for people that are just thinking of other areas to explore outside of clinical medicine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it. If you found it useful, informative, please share it with like your other friends that are medical doctors or medical students. So they also get to see and learn and know that there are other options for them to explore outside of clinical medicine. Thank you so much and see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications.